Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the F-16 showing how to acquire targets in dogfight mode and with the HMD, and how to engage them with AIM-9s and guns. This video does not cover ACM techniques but shows the weapon skills that you need to master before getting into a dogfight. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video works best with the HMD so we'll start by turning that on and because we're making a video we'll turn down the missile tone and the threat warning tone volume. Put the dogfight missile override switch into the dogfight position. This puts the radar into ACM mode and silences it and arms and cools your AIM 9s. You can change your air to air missile type with a long press of the nose wheel steering button. Short presses of the nose wheel steering button will cycle between pylons with the same weapon. Any changes you make while in dogfight mode will be saved, so if you come out and go back into dogfight mode, your radar settings, MFD pages, etc. will all be there for you. It's worth setting this up before getting into combat. I'm going to bring up the HSD on a spare button on the right hand display. The radar is currently silent as shown by the no rad indication. With the radar as soy, we can press the target management switch up. That puts us in boresight mode with the radar sweeping the area shown. Any target in range within the swept area will be automatically locked up. Looking away from the HUD, press target management up again to bring up the HMD boresight oval. Note how the radar acquisition zone moves with your head. In this mode you can just look at any target within the radar's gimbal limit and it's locked. Target management switch right puts the radar into HUD scan mode. You can lock any target that's on the HUD glass. Target management switch down cycles between radar silent and vertical scan mode. This mode's great for a flat turning dogfight. With a pair of bombers ahead, let's go get them with our AIM 9s and our guns. We'll lock up one of these bombers using the helmet acquisition. Target management switch up, it's the targeting oval. Look at the target. Black. That's the radar lock, but we still need to lock the seeker by pressing the uncage button. Note the change in tone. HMD and HUD show the range to target, closure rate, weapon maximum range, no escape range. Missile flight time is shown below. Pull some lead and press and hold weapon release. Fox 2. We've got a countdown to impact. Freak 0 and there's no explosion, so we'll see that's a miss. Roll back in and uncage. Fox 2. His countermeasures are a lot less effective at this range. Try not to smack into his buddy. I've just armed the AMRAMs as I come in on the second bomber. That's just so I don't hear the sidewinder tone as I go in for a gun run. Let the range clock unwind to about 6 o'clock. Wait for the main gun pipper to appear. It's a tiny circle. Pipper on the target. Squeeze the trigger. That's the kill. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from God's Space Game. Huge thanks to all my Kofi supporters, and if you found this useful, please subscribe for more 3 minute DCS tutorials on all of your favourite modules.